What is up everybody, this is Emo White, bringing you some gameplay from Resident Evil 7, playing some 21. I'd like to thank the YouTuber The Rad Brad for putting me onto this game. I watched some of his videos, and fucking hilarious. So I decided to uh, go ahead and purchase the game and try my hand at some sadistic 21. You know, and it also kind of gave me a break from, you know, my usual antics. So when you play 21, you've got a deck of cards, 1 through 11. There's no doubles, you guys share that deck. Now also you have trump cards, which you see over there on the right hand side. They do various things, uh, return the last card that you had, uh, raise the bet by stay. 2, they just do all kinds of things. Now there's two types of 21. Play regular 21, which is about to cost this guy all his fucking fingers. And then you can play the 21 where you get electric shocks. Alright, so in regular 21, you play for fingers. Now, currently I'm playing 21 Survival, which you get the electric shocks. So the rounds last a little bit longer. In regular 21, you gotta beat 5 opponents. In 21 Plus, you gotta beat. 10 opponents and when you beat them this is pretty much what happens now apparently the big thing about 21 plus is you run into this motherfucker you're supposed to be super rare and a little bit hard to beat but you're gonna sit here and watch this you see I work this motherfucker like a part-time job Okay, so maybe he's not that hard, but I saw Brad play him for the first time, and he throws down this escape trump card, which means if you lose the round, he just gets to run away and you gotta play somebody else. So he never dropped that when I was playing him, and I mean, I guess he really didn't have time, because as you can see here, I just fucked him up again. So he's really not that difficult, he's just rare to see. Now the person I found to be most difficult was the last guy you face in Survival Plus. 
this guy's a fucking dickhead. Uh, as you can see, I just pretty much ruined his, his hand. He's getting ready to lose because his bet is now three, and if I win, he's going to die. So he throws out this fucking Oblivion card that just resets the game. It cancels this round out. What the fuck? A few moments later. So here's a continuation of that game. Uh, as you can see, I've already been shocked nine times, so if I lose this round, I lose the game. Um... This is my first time playing through Survival Plus, and I got a good hand, wrecked his hand, and I finally end up getting to fry his ass and win. So while this game isn't as action-packed as the normal shit I like to get into, it's a good alternative for burning the midnight oil. So if you like what you see, go ahead and pick up Resident Evil 7. You're going to need the banned footage DLC to be able to play 21. It was a lot of fun, it's got a lot of replay value, there's a lot of different shit you can unlock by like going through the whole game and not being tortured. Um, big thanks to Brad for turning me on to this. Uh, look him up, the Rad Brad, on YouTube. He's got some funny ass videos. I'm out.